Alonzo gets it to Scotty. Nice to see Scotty back on the floor. Attacking Lofton. Gets him in the air with a fake and the finger roll. On Misi with a floater. That is short. Battle for the rebound. Ends up with Malonzo. In the center. Oh, two. Scotty again inside. Back to back baskets. Because he can do anything with either hand. He likes that lefty floater, that right, right handed floater from the hip. Scotty Thompson, speaking of players who can do everything, the shot doesn't go. Lofton gets it. Lofton against Scotty. Attacks. Ooh, gets blocked by Thompson. He just showed us right there, a little bit late trailing the play, but man, he has got some quick and high hops. See Stan? Gets it to Scotty. Scotty shoots a three and he laces that three in. A lid on top of this thing. Tough shot by uh, Scotty. Well defended. Nice pass inside. But a guy in Ebra getting everything they want here in this ball game. Thanks a lot, Eileen. Well, that's one of the main reasons why Olsen Rosella will be the next coach of Perpetual. <laughs> wow. He tried this to, is everything. I think he was trying to get a foul, too. Uh-oh. Almost. Not quite a clean alley-oop, but an alley-oop nonetheless. From Barangay Never here on this play. OK. So it used to be There's a, challenge on the ball a while ago. Never. Competitive basketball, just basketball in general. And what a. Big play he made again, back to back. First the shot, now the steal. And now they're humming. Tiniente making good things happen for his team. Gets the steal, forwards it to Maverick. Maverick gives it to Scotty. Scotty gives it to Christian. It's at six now. Tiniente outside, Scotty. Gotta get it up. Puts it on Tom and hits there what might is. be the dagger three. That is a huge shot once again. 12 points, seven boards, and seven assists. But this shot, I think, is his biggest shot of the night. That was from 28 feet. And holding that follow through like a sneak. Here's Maverick to the wing. Thompson, nice no look pass. So NC Stan getting ready to check in. Watch another assist here from Scotty. Cutting that lead down to four. Shot clock winding down. It's at five. Another good find by Thompson. He would always take it in the heart of that defense, but he definitely, the nice part about it, he knows really what to do with that ball. You know, guys are cu cutting from the weak side underneath. You got to see that too. Paraiso will lose it. Here's Scotty. Oh, finds Malonzo. Wow. Tito Malonzo. <laughs> Here it comes. Best move of the game. The best move of the game is brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA and Malonzo. He's like uh, steady right in front. That's why the call was like that. Scotty, couple of moves. Jump at Aguilar with a big slam. Moving the ball and hitting the open band. You know, we've seen it with Malonzo. He pulled back. But look at the way they've been moving this basketball. Finding Javit free underneath. And then there will always be another play here. This is the Javit dunk. He is a player that plays so much better in game. Definitely a game player. No, sa practice will you will not see uh, the entire potential that he has. But in the game, definitely a better and uh, a better player that you will see. Yeah. We're double digit scorers for the Road Warriors, as you can see and uh, remember. Wala si BGR, wala itong si Nieto, at wala rin si Kevin Alas. Those are three critical parts in the rotation of Coach Rankele. Valdez extending possession, tapped away by Stanley Pringle, and the one is Scotty Thompson. Tony Bishop finds a wide open Jamie Malonzo for three. That's good. Scott E. Thompson being hounded by Miranda. Maverick Misi making his first appearance in this game, working on Rob, working on Richie Roger. And Another. a fight. Oh! Ooh. Tony Bishop. Christian Stan Hardinger. Little spin move. Finding Scott E. Thompson inside. The extra pass. Jamie Malonzo gets two. Three touches underneath. 
Well, take a look at this. One, two, and two more for Jamie Malonzo. Ward might have been tapped there. You, you can challenge that if you want. No, you don't have to watch because it is, I think, an automatic review coming from our table official. The worst thing here is to think this is going to be a cakewalk for your squad. As Tony Bishop ties the ball game with a triple. Right, uh, you know. So they need to make those outside shots. They're still sitting on this zone defense. Open three. Ah, and Messi converts. Right. For Barangay Ginebra, they're resulting to an 8 to nothing lead in second chance points. Another pretty dish. Stan Hardinger locating Scotty Thompson. They're just getting anything and everything they want on offense. Uh, unforced yeah. turnovers uh, by Ginebra. That was the fourth three-point conversion of North Ford, but Stan Hardinger quickly answers back with that short stab. Big. But, uh, chemistry issues between those two players. Thompson, wide open three-point shot for Pringle. Fran, you dug a little too deep there. That's not how you get back into the ball game That's against true. Barangay Ginebra. Scotty, three, no, Fran new with the board. Unless it's a layup, unless a turnover now. Kicks into the corner, Bishop. Did not convert from deep, but Scotty grabs his first board of the ball game. Thompson goes reverse oh. with the English. Oh! Every time I, I see these two guys, I just see something a little bit different. And how far? As he has eight in the game already. And he's averaging 40 points per ball game. Scotty counter three is down. That was smooth. Uh, CJ Perez looks on, looking for a way to attack. He goes to the spin. Oh, oh. Out of control attack there. And Scotty Thompson leaking out. Scotty with a fake. Scotty goes reverse. What a beauty. He stopped right there. I'll see it once again in slow mo. Boom. Chris Ross with the pump fake. Their focus is on limiting them on the court and regaining a good tempo wherein they are able to move the ball better and help each other out on defense in order to have a better and more successful second half. Oh my goodness! What? Did not find the angle though on that layup. Oh, but he takes it away. Seal on the other side. Thompson deciding where to go. The layup is gone oh. against the defense of Ross. Pringle, bringing the ball around is. But again, Ebra trying to get the locals going. Malonzo hits a three. Nice misdirection and first step. CJ attacking. That gets erased by Scotty. It's going to be a long, uh, long night this could for Baragain Ebra. Could be the reverse. Could be Benny, Benny Boatwright doing all the damage inside while Junmar goes out. Three or four seconds difference between shot clock and game clock. Scotty attacking Junmar. Nice fake, gets him up in the air Ooh. and finishes! What a move! As Lasseter trying to find Junmar. Hard dog against C-Stan. This is where Junmar really made his mark as well in that last game. In this game. They go to the corner, I need to tie. No, Scotty oh. with a board. Bishop gets it to go. That's just straight first. Eight seconds on the clock. Malonzo, look at the hands of Jumar Fajardo. And he will hold the basketball, but Scotty is there to take it away. Scotty for three. No. Boom. Scotty with six to work with. Thompson on the drive. Kick out pass. Malonzo, another try. Finally, it falls. From the perimeter, it's CJ Perez. Thompson with four to work with. Scotty, Gumambio, reverse layup. Lari, <laughs> Tutukon, Ni Thompson. <laughs> With fantastic plays here to end the second quarter. Look at where he needed to go to evade the defense of June Marvajardo. That's an MVP going up because of his defense versus Benny Boatwright. Japan drives and he scores the fast break layup. Looking for his options. Cross court pass. Somehow connects with Thompson. Scotty for three. Money. And there's a foul as well. He can tie the ball game from the stripe. Something from the MVP and Scotty Thompson. It was a. See if Tony Bishop can up his performance on the offensive end because this is a do or die game for him and, and for the rest of the Barangay Hinebra crew. Let's see if they can win game three.